the market was looking towards this SPAC. Now, the merger completion has been pushed back from the third quarter to the fourth quarter. Are you confident that you will list by the end of the year? Yeah, I, I mean, look, the truth is we decided to be proactive. Um, we know that we wanted to go to for pre-clearance with SEC on, and look, we know that the that we want to set the bar in transparent financial reporting. And yes, it may have taken a little longer than we expected, but today we're happy to share what we've done in Q1. Uh, we beat our targets. Uh, our top line grew stronger than we expected. We continue to improve on profitability. Our spend per user went up 33% year on year because it proves that our super app works, that more users use more services. And we still see so many growth opportunities across the cities we serve in the region. We are looking towards the review of the financial statement as we were talking about with the stack, uh, the SPAC, excuse me. Do you expect any kind of major reinstatement once that is done? Well, uh, I can't comment for future uh, statements, but what I can say is that uh, we are happy with Q1. I think all of us are just focused on executing for our consumers in uh, second half of this year. What about plans, though, for further expansion when you look at the likes of Didi Shushing uh, making its IPO, DoorDash going into Japan? Do you have broader expansion plans? No, we're going to stay really focused uh, to win hearts and minds and, and e-wallets of, of Southeast Asia. All right. So you said you were confident that the SPAC will be done by the end of the year. We're hearing as well there could be a secondary uh, listing in Singapore. Are there truth to those uh, rumours? For us, we consider all kinds of options, uh, but the most important is really focusing on this NASDAQ listing. And uh, we are guns blazing on track and laser focused. And laser focused that it will happen in 2021. Yes, that's right. What about uh, the thought here with going with a SPAC rather than a traditional IPO? Actually, before meeting Brad and, uh, and Altimeter, uh, we were preparing ourselves for a traditional IPO or, or what you name as traditional IPO, but we were so impressed with just the team was so impressed with uh, how committed they were uh, and they continue to be, how they've put in their own uh, money where their mouth is. Uh, they've invested and co-invested with us. Uh, they've put in uh, money into our grab for good fund um, and that Brad himself is an operator and we want fellow operators to be on our cap table so that we can, uh, so that we speak the same language. And I think once we, we saw this match made in heaven, we said, hey, uh, we're going to take this partnership. It's because of Altimeter.